terrible, isn't it? Squeaky brakes are terrible. <laughs> there are three ways to fix this. I'll show you. <laughs> Oy. like an oil or something gets into it so the brakes cannot do their job so you guys <laughs> terrible <laughs> so the first thing get a rug like my orange one <laughs> get a rug put some alcohol and really clean them you know because sometimes they get really dirty see so very, very clean. Okay, our rims are very clean. Okay, now for the second part. Get your Brompton tube. Yes, this marvelous tube. And we're gonna take the front wheel out. So we can get an easy access to the inside of the brake pad and we're gonna send it to send it yes yeah, send it because sometimes a little piece of glass a little piece of sand <laughs> a big piece of sand would get inside of the brake pad and when the brake pad touch the rim there's a lot of noise so let's take care of this part do is check if the brakes are even because we have to tow them yes the front part has to touch before the rear part see this one this one this part here is shorter than this one so could be that this is causing the problem should be actually should be this way the back part has to be a bit farther away than the front part. Let me show you how to do it. Now for the coolest part, to tow your this part. Yes, they had to touch it first here. So the movement will make your brake pad work perfect. In my case, I noticed that the front part of my brake is more used than the, the rear part. That means that is touching the rear before the front and probably that's the reason for the terrible noise. And one way of doing it is putting a Ziploc, but don't put it in the right way because if you do it, it, it won't take it out. Put it in the wrong way. What that means is that you put in and out and it's no problem. It's not really working as a Ziploc. The only thing it's doing is that it's giving this much space for the rear brakes instead of the front so the front will touch this much faster than the rear that's good enough let's do it get the zip lock put on the back of the brakes put it in the wrong way see Now, you have both pads with the Ziploc, see? First, we're gonna lose this here to adjust the brakes, the both sides. Then we're gonna put the Velcro at the brake lever. 
Okay, there's an extra tip for you. Uh, my Brompton 2 wasn't working. It was going loose, you know. So what did I do? I put some WD-40. And now it's working fine. <laughs> good. That's good. I like this tip. <laughs> now we get the broker. And we fix the brakes. Oh, this one, this one. Yep. Why? Because then they're gonna be straight. Brake pads, they work in the rim. So they're supposed to touch only the rim. They're not supposed to touch the, the tires. And if they are out of the rim, they're doing nothing. The Ziploc is doing the job, you know, to tow them. So when you fix it, put your finger here so it won't move. Okay, take the velcro out. Can you see the front part? We'll be touching the rim before the rear part. Then, because of the movement of the wheel, will be perfect. I don't know if my case would do it because it's very worn out. Yes, it did work. Is it cool? Did you hear anything? Either I. Fantastic. This is Lagoa Rodrigo de Freitas. Those are the three things you can do to fix that squeaky note. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> First, you get the ring clean. Then, you send it the inside part of your brake pad, the part that touches the rim. Because sometimes a lot of dirt get in it. So when it's shining, you know when, when the rubber gets shining, that's mean that means a lot of dirt in it. <laughs> uh, some asphalt or little piece of glass, you know, things like that. So send it up. And for the last and most important one, you have to tow your brake pad. Yes. What tow means is to put it instead of straight, like this. The first part touching before the rear part. Because when the wheel moves, you're gonna put it in the right place. If you put it back, like like the back, the rear part touching before the front part, it goes like, duh, 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 duh. it makes that noise. Yeah. <laughs> if you do have a Brompton, no problem. A lot of tips that I leave here in the channel, they're for bicycles. They work for every bicycle and they are very good. <laughs> I like them. I love to discover them. They're so good. I'm learning a lot with you guys. If you did like it, thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please do. And you know, after you subscribe will be a little bell. Yes, the little bell. Bye-bye.